next guest is the king of the walk. And now Jeremy <laughs> Pang is sharing more of his simple flavour packed meals in his very own ITV daytime series. Well, Jeremy Pang's Asian Kitchen starts this Saturday at 11.35 on ITV. And let's have a look, shall we? I'll show you this. Roll it, tighten, roll it, tighten, roll it, tighten. So serious concentration here, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually make that nice parcel. Let's have a look. Oh, mine's longer than yours. <laughs> longer than yours. You've definitely got a, a, a more Western spring roll. <laughs> you, know, you always think bigger is better. <laughs> I, I like mine so nice, nice little cute little parcel. Yeah, mine's nice and long. <laughs> <laughs> and the book here, uh, The School of Wok, there you go. That's what accompanies the series as well. And this is really about introducing people to Asian flavours, showing you that how fast and how nutritious it, and how yummy it can absolutely. be. Absolutely, and it is fast and quite furious at times. You know, and we probably shouldn't linger on, uh, you know, whose spring rolls are bigger, to be honest. You know, but, you know, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting. Oh. It's my first ever series, you know, and, and on ITV on uh, uh, starting brilliant. on Saturday. Well, well you, you want people to make their own, because it, it, it can be really simple, and the recipes are gorgeous, and not get it from a takeaway. And, and you know, your pedigree is extraordinary. Was it three generations of Chinese chefs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of skipped a generation. But, you know, I've been doing this for about 13 years now, so... Yeah. You know, and it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride for myself, but I'm I'm here and I'm I'm cooking still with the wok, you know. And so, yeah, I like King of the Wok. I like that. King yeah. of the Wok. And you're going <laughs> to do see that what, first uh, now. What you got for us? Yeah, we're doing a, a, a wok fried cumin lamb, and actually uh, on the show, it, it's it's a tra traditionally it's a Xinjiang sort of barbecue dish, um, uh, and it starts with some lamb rump or. You know, you can actually do this with neck fillet mm. uh, or, or slower bit, bits of meat as well, but it's all flash fried. Um, and the idea with this is really quick and simple. We've got light soy sauce, some sesame oil, a little bit of cumin in the marinade, and that'll come in again later mm -hmm. on. Uh, and then usually we'd put some uh, sugar into this, uh, but we've got some of your lovely... Honey. Honey. Oh. Yeah. And that, this honey, the idea is to sort of accentuate the sort of natural sweetness of everything we cook right, with a okay. pinch of sugar or a bit of honey or anything like that is absolutely it's, fine. Yeah. Uh, and then some corn right. flour, and that will just help to sort of wrap around that marinade mm. nicely. That's rather uh, lovely, like So, ideally, you want to marinate this for, you know, a little bit of time. Give it an I'm hour actually... or so if you want extra flavour, but it's really packed full of flavour, as you'll see in a second. Mm. I've got my wok on. And we've got some marinated lamb here, ready to go. So you say minimum an hour, if you can. Yeah, I mean, the longer you leave it, the more flavour's going to get in. But uh, when you'll see, with the flavours that are going into this, how quick this actually is and how oh. much flavour you get. Now, now, look how much that's smoking. That's what you've got to do, right? I want this wok smoking hot before I put my lamb in. All the smoke get... detectors would go off in my house. I have that. heat detectors in my house for a reason. Right. <laughs> ah. Right, so my lamb is going to sear in on that really high heat, like so. You're getting excited, Holly? Well, I just want to see it, because it is quite exciting. I'm going to kind of leave that there to sear for the next minute or so. And then uh, I can start on my wok clock. Yeah. Which is very Your prominent. Wok what? The wok clock. Clock? Right, it's a wok clock because you start at 12 o'clock with your first ingredient and you go all the way round. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So the idea is that if you've got everything set up in front of you like this, then it's nice and easy. Oh, I see. Right, so 12 o'clock was actually a lamb. Everything else is kind of here in front of me. Okay. Right. My lamb is searing nicely. All I have to do is that turn that once. What oil do you cook in? Vegetable oil, sunflower Vegetable. oil, corn oil. Anything high heating mm. is good for your wok cooking because it's going to get. You know, you're probably at about 250 degrees C there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's and hot. it's quite easy. I would have thought to overcook that, isn't it? Because you, you, the, well, the one I've got in front of me here, which is amazing and t so tender, is pink. Right, yeah. exactly. And I mean, that's had what? A minute? Yeah. Right, I'm going to finish this stir fry off in the next minute. Oh. Right, I've got some cumin, some chilli uh, flakes, and a little bit of Sichuan peppercorn, which is where you, you're probably getting a bit of a tingling on your tongue. Right yeah, now. definitely. It's the right? perfect and we're going to start heat, to load actually. up the rest of these ingredients in the wok. Onions oh in. Oh, my goodness. Right. And then. Right now, all we have to do is give this a quick flip through and then start to reintroduce 
the the rest of the ingredients on my wok clock. Mm -hmm. Ginger, garlic, I've got some coriander stalk here, which is all gonna go into that. Flick that around the wok a couple of times, and then my lovely, um, my lovely sort of salt, this sort of spicy salt here, which is made up of that extra cumin and chili mm. flakes, salt, and the Sichuan peppercorns, which is actually a natural sort of berry rather than a peppercorn. Is it? That comes off an ash, a kind of like ash bush, right? Oh, right. Um, and it, you'll find it, it's almost got that sort of juniper berry sort of feel to it. And that, stir fry, is pretty much done. So it, really, the prep is key. Prep, prep, prep away, and then it's bang, 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 bang. And, and the idea of this is like, get it on your wok clock, then your recipe's right in front of you, and then you don't have to think about it. That's that's exactly. You know, the this flavors is are me. So, lovely. so lovely. Like you Three. feel like there's a lot going on yeah, in there. Careful, Holly. Oh. This is coming straight out. And you've got <laughs> you've got your dinner. Oh, I've um. got mine. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is so delicious. Um, um, that's just stunning. What else? What are you? What sort of things are you covering on the on the series? What are you? I doing? mean, Joe's with me, sort of one segment in every episode, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm kind of taking him on a culinary Asian journey across the ten episodes. Is he any good? You know what? He is an amazing chef and just so lovable. Well, he's yeah. a very he's a <laughs> yeah. lovely guy. Um, yeah, and don't he's don't really good. He picks things up very, very quickly. And we're with British producers going to different parts of the whole country, um, all the way up to the Scottish Highlands um, each episode as well. And, and just showing people how to use local produce, uh, but cooking it in a slightly more unique and different way. Yeah. Oh, really this is so idea. lovely. And thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good luck with it. Well, I'm, I'm excited. Gonna, yeah. I'm going to finish that <laughs> off. Um, it's uh, Jeremy's uh, Asian Kitchen starts this Saturday at 11.35 on ITV. Thank you. Thank you. Well, for Pleasure. Details, Thank you. today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.